All right, guys, virtual workout number 45 here today. We have two pieces to today's workout. We have our warm up and our main conditioning piece. So, our warm up's pretty tough here today because it's got some burpees in it. And I know you guys love getting started with some burpees. So, we have three rounds. We're starting with six burpees. So, remember on that burpee, we have options. First off, we're going to go ahead and set those hands on the ground. You can jump those feet out, bring that chest and thigh to the ground, jump those feet up, or you can step out. Bring that chest and thigh to the ground and step up, and then I need to see a jump at the top. You're gonna go ahead and knock out six of those burpees. After that, we have eight air squats. So in that air squat, feet are shoulder width, toes are pointed out slightly, hips are gonna move back first, followed by your knees breaking. So hips move first, then knees bend. You'll notice my knees are tracking out, that's what we wanna see. Torso's nice and upright, driving through those hills as we come up. So again, hips push back first, then knees break, torsos upright, weight back in those heels. We're gonna go ahead and knock out eight of those air squats. After that, we're gonna go ahead and come down to the ground here. You're gonna go ahead and put your feet together. Now, we're gonna do traditional ab mat sit-ups. We put our feet together and we butterfly those legs out so that we focus more on the core, less on the hip flexor. From here, you're gonna go ahead and lay back, touch that ground above you, feet in front of you. That's gonna be one full complete rep. After that, you're going to go ahead and do 12 push-ups. So, maintaining that hollow position, you're going to go ahead and start by pushing that ground away from you in that hollow position, chest and thigh down to the ground, and extending up. You're going to go ahead and knock out three rounds of this. Move through that first round pretty slow, get that body going, pick up that pace on that second round, pick up that pace on that third round. Then you'll be ready for our main conditioning portion. Now. Again, three versions here. We have our class version, which would essentially mean you have pretty much any piece of equipment that you need. We have our minimal equipment version, which is what most of us are gonna go ahead and do because we have a dumbbell or we have a no equipment version. Let's go ahead, let's talk about the minimal equipment version first. So, we have five rounds. We're gonna go ahead and do eight dumbbell clean and jerks. So that dumbbell clean and jerk, you're gonna take one dumbbell in one hand. You're gonna hinge at those hips. Core's nice and tight, shoulders are square. That dumbbell's coming down to the ground. From there, you're gonna drive that ground away from you. You're pressing through that ground, shrugging those shoulders up onto those toes, bringing that elbow under that dumbbell. From there, you're gonna stand up, and then we can move into a jerk or a shoulder to overhead. So we're gonna go ahead and dip those knees, drive that dumbbell up, re-dip under, and stand up. So remember, we wanna go ahead, hinge at those hips, core is nice and tight, dumbbells coming down to the ground, driving through that ground, pressing onto those toes, shrugging that shoulder, coming under that dumbbell quick, standing it up, re-dipping, driving that dumbbell up, re-dip under, standing it all the way up. We have eight of these dumbbell clean and jerks. This is a hard count. So that means you're gonna do eight on your right arm, eight on your left arm. After that, we have 12 jump overs on a stable surface, okay? So 12 box jump overs or 12 chair jump overs. Whatever stable surface you have, this could be a picnic table, whatever it is. We're gonna go ahead and demonstrate this with a box. So what you're gonna go ahead and do 12 times, you're gonna start on one side of that stable surface. You're gonna jump to the top and then down to the ground. Each time over is one. You also have the option to jump all the way over. Now, in a perfect world, gentlemen, we would be at 24 inches. Ladies, we would be at 20 inches. Now, after that jump over, we're going to go ahead and move into 16 leg lifts. So working that core, you're going to go ahead and come down onto the ground here. Feet fully extended, hands slightly under your bottoms. I want you to pull those shoulder blades off that ground, getting that core firing, legs up. From there, you're coming perpendicular to the ground, slowly coming down. I don't want to see those feet touching the ground on these leg lifts. I want to see you keep tension at that core. After those 16 leg lifts, we're going to go back into the eight dumbbell clean and jerks. From there, we're going to go back into 12 uh, box jump overs. And then from there, we're going to go back into 16 leg lifts. Okay? You're going to rest one minute and you're going to do this five times through. So we got a pretty big amount of volume here today, which is why we only have two pieces on this workout. Now, let's go ahead and talk about our no equipment version. Okay, our no equipment version, we have five rounds. We're gonna go ahead and change out some of these movements here. So, we're gonna go ahead and start with eight reverse burpees. Now, you guys have done these reverse burpees a few times here. That reverse burpee is where you go ahead and come here into a tucked position. You're gonna go ahead and roll back onto your back. From there, you're gonna drive through those feet and hips to roll back up to a fully standing position. 
You're gonna go ahead and knock out eight of those reverse burpees. After that, we're gonna do those same jump overs. We're gonna go ahead and do 12 of those. We're gonna do 16 leg lifts. Then we're gonna work down that list just like you did that first time through. The old, and nothing changes, okay? So the only move that changes is from that dumbbell clean and jerk to that reverse burpee. You're still gonna rest one minute and knock out five rounds of this. All right, guys, let's get those post, uh, scores posted to try. Let's go ahead and post those pictures to the members page, and we're gonna see you back in the box here shortly.